Okay, guys and girls, welcome back. I'm gonna throw this, throw this water in the van. Uh, so, lots of things kind of going on right now. I gotta kind of take stuff up to the warehouse. Really hoping to get to the flea market here in a couple days. I gotta, gotta get rid of those prints. Those prints just take up a ton of space. Whoa. Alright, I don't know if this is... It's actually a pretty nice plate. I gotta put that aside. That's not, that's not even scrap metal. I don't know how that get in there. So after trash picking, uh, I got a, a text message saying that there was more metal out. So I went back out a little bit later. It's actually a decent funnel. This is like the things that I remember seeing at a rubbish sale. They had probably a hundred of these and they were a quarter each. So I guess I'll just probably end up scrapping this funnel, even though that's, that's what I thought. I thought it was a little bit. I'll keep the bigger one. Would it be really weird if I used this for uh <laughs> for putting gasoline in like an ATV or something or use it as an oil? Might be a little weird, but I guess I'll do that. Um so yeah, there's a bunch of random things here. I'll have to separate this eventually. This is the brass copper. Take off that brass handle. That would probably be uh, dirty brass, or I think I could probably just knock off this wood piece. They might not even give me dirty brass because the wood is a lot. Uh, but that would be sheet copper, which I had a big pile. Oh, I probably put it in a bucket over here. Is this my... Yeah. Let's see, there's a couple pieces in there. Um... So yeah, that's kind of what's going on in here. I'm starting to take apart these. I did go to the scrap yard. I did go to the scrap yard and I gotta say, scrap price has dropped even more. It's now down to $2 for every 100 pounds for light iron. It's so low that it just, it's unbelievable. The guy actually said that pretty soon it's going to get to that point where you're either going to have a minimum or you're just dropping off for free because someone like myself, I had probably 180, 280 pounds. I only got like $4. What did I have? I, what should I have? 250 pounds, I got like $5, I think, and light iron. So it's like, well, and I threw more stuff in there before I went. So it, it's it's unbelievable how, how low scrap price has kind of gone. But we're going to do some trash picking. I'm going to clean up a little bit around here, but we're going to go trash picking, check out the auction. Really hoping to get to the flea market uh, in a couple days because I want to move some of those prints. A lot of people did suggest that I bring more than just like 15 prints or just one box. Bring two or three boxes, so maybe we'll try that if I don't have that much inventory. And yeah, see how the day goes and let's get into it. I see it across the street over here. I thought I saw something. I guess I didn't. Grab this. Ooh. Some iron. This is usually irony aluminum. I see it now. It's over here. No scrap left behind. Realistically, the scrap price has dropped. I haven't seen much scrap metal or really anything ever since it's dropped to like, really when it did the first drop, I think the 350. at that <laughs> that saw was in there but it's not garbage yeah just haven't really seen that much uh that much treasure not that much scrap metal either it's like it's doing the polar opposite of what i think everyone thought which would be uh that uh there'd be more stuff out because less scrappers would be out but uh -huh. it's almost like more people are out because they think less scrappers are out Or was that lady that yelled at me last week? Oh, it was this car. She even... Yeah. That house? Yeah, it was that house. Back there. Oh, what was that? And 
I seen that I seen something hiding. I don't know what it is. I have no idea what that thing is either. Looks like it was probably really expensive. I don't know what a wall deterger is. This is my first ever picking up one of those. This looks like it's stainless steel. That might be brass. That's brass. That's brass. This might be stainless. Do not have any idea. Maybe it's to wash walls. No idea. All right, and just like that, wow, why is the screen all blue? Get a little color in here, and then up. Oh, there we go. Yeah, just like that, we're here at the auction. Another day, another auction. Uh, they do have an auction coming up, I think, in a day or two. Um, On-site auction, so I'm going to try to get to that. And yeah, we're here. That's all CDs. And then there's records over there, and then the rest is all CDs and records. Unreal. Must have been a whole store. Oh, buddy. There's some also baseball gloves in there, but I don't know if he's selling them today. They're really, really good ones. It's actually a nice chair. All right. I'm still waiting for this uh, these baseball gloves going up. They're really, really good ones. They're uh, the ones a pro preferred. The ones a hard to hide, which is the Elite models. Um, ugh. Ugh. Just bought this box. I just thought there was a bunch of little smalls. I don't know. This might even be silver. I don't think it's just silver plate. It might be silver. I'm not sure. Uh, what's in here? Anything? Just a really cool looking box. Yeah, just a nice box. Actually, today at the flea market only has like three or four more weeks uh, flea market. And then I thought about it. And I'm like, yeah, it really does only have three or four more weeks. So I got to get up there. Um, and move this last of the stuff and bring up those prints and really clear out my warehouse because I want to have my warehouse cleaned for uh, for next year. Uh, like, I mean, there's like squirrel, like walnuts everywhere. And they've like gone to the sheetrock, so I want to patch that stuff up. So I really want to clear out everything. But uh, if I buy like two or three more boxes, I'll definitely be going up this, uh, this coming week. So. All right, grab this jug. It doesn't really do justice how big this thing is. It's a number five Keystone, uh, but it's all shattered up here, so I paid three bucks for it. Uh, I probably saw maybe seven or eight people grab it. Um, and a lot of people wanted to buy it, but then they realized it was broken. So I figured, you know what? If that many people are looking at it, someone might buy it. For me, I personally don't care. I mean, if you're going to sell this to me for 10 bucks and it's cracked, I'd rather pay 10 bucks and be cracked than spend 200 or 250 dollars for it and be mint. But that's just me. I mean, everyone's kind of different in their ways. Uh, so I figured someone else out there probably will buy it for 10 or 15. All right, another, oh, another box here for three bucks. Uh, probably my favorite piece here is definitely this cannon, the brass cannon. There's actually a name for these. I forgot what they're called. It's made by Pen and Graft. I have to check that out online. It's a very nice looking brass. A little pieces, you know. Violin. 
violin uh, kind oh, of decorators. Okay. All right, well, got them. Got them, wow, what a score. All right, guys and girls, check this out. So I paid 10 bucks for all three. You guys might see how Pro Preferred. This is back when Pro Preferred made the best possible glove and the second best possible glove. You guys might see a little bit of a bull on the back end. His tail, it's a hard to hide. So this glove new was about 250, 300. This glove new was about 175, 200. Uh, used, I know I can probably get around 80 to 100 and a quarter for this one. This one I'll probably get around 60 to 70. Uh, so definitely around eh, 200. I don't know what this is, but wow. Nice buy there for 10 bucks. I know what you're for, guys. Three, all right, so I bought all these. Three, four, three, four. Thirty-five three, bucks. Three, four. I got three, four, five, five, six. I got five, six, five, six. Five here, number. All right. Fun fact: I just bought another row. Um, another row of these. There's probably about eight or ten boxes. I paid ten dollars for them. So I got a lot to pack, and I also bought another row. Probably about eight cases of records for five bucks. So we are going into the media business. The music business. The music business was this. I don't know. Uh, yeah, but I did actually do the math. Like a box like this, if you sell them two for a dollar, there's roughly about 40 bucks in that box. So if I did like fill a box up for $25, like pick and choose, I think I'll easily make my money back in like the first hour or so. So, um, that might be the way to go because with only four weeks left i really don't want to store these all winter long but keep loading up all right so i just made it back uh wow it's not really sh showing this thing justice but records on top of records on top of records more records and more records so a lot of these aren't anything great you know mac evans hello <laughs> oh geez um, there are nothing great here, but the thing with records, the thing with records, and when I sell records at the flea market, is I always sell Righteous Brothers. I always sell them for a dollar each, and really, if you come out there for a fresh box of records, you'll always sell around five. I feel like, no matter what genre you have, somehow someone picks out five. Now, the other problem is ever selling the rest of them, which... You know, it was obviously a problem, but uh, for five bucks, I figured I'll buy all of them. And somebody's going to buy at least five dollars worth out one box. And hopefully, out one of these boxes, somebody's going to buy eight or ten dollars worth. Maybe out of this box, that box, box down there, this one, that one, this. There's a lot here. All right. So I was thinking maybe I'll get around 50 bucks out of all of it. Once again, problem with records is you'll only sell maybe five dollars out of one box, and the rest you have to donate or just chuck. That is the one thing with music, especially around here, is that you're not going to sell everything, especially on this vintage kind of uh, vintage stuff. And then, of course, you got all these CDs. There's a lot there. So, essentially, it was a music store. That's what the uh, everyone was saying. It was like it was someone's music store or they had a shop in an antique mall, which I think is probably what happened. I know around here it's like two or three antique malls. And every antique mall has like one booth where the guy just sells like a jillion CDs and records. So this is probably the stuff that just didn't sell. He didn't want to pay for another month. And he was like, you know what? Rather than maybe making another $100, $200, $300 and spending $200 in rent, I'm going to just take it to the auction and blow it all out. Um, so that's what, what happened here. There is literally every different genre here. We have jazz, there's more jazz, there's rock, there's pop, there's alternative, there's rap, there's R&B, literally everything. And I know I have a friend who buys a lot of my rap and, um, R&B stuff, so I'm gonna have to figure out where that box was. It wasn't a very large box, and you can kind of see, like, what music does sell, because in these boxes, half of these boxes were, like, half full. And those are definitely one of the popular genres. Whereas something like holiday music, that whatever case that was, was completely full. 
that and religion. Religion and classical, those boxes were just jam-packed. Like, no one ever bought, like, one CD out of them. But some of these genres, it seemed like they were hot sellers. And realistically, I got a nice lot there. Uh, I spent a total of, like, $84 today. That's including the gloves, which I spent 10 bucks for. And a couple of these box lots. So, probably spent, I'd say, like, $65, $60 on all the music stuff. And like I said, when you, you count it up, you sell two boxes for two for a dollar and you make your money back on everything. So three box, three of these boxes, two for a dollar, you make your money back on everything that you uh, you bought today, which is really, really nice. Kind of cool to buy out a whole uh, music store essentially. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this fun adventure. It's been a, it's been a blast. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, smack the like button. Check out my playlist on other treasure hunts and of course, subscribe for future videos. Catch you guys tomorrow, and until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.